soon enough. I know I said we're large we're ignoring the other quest class unlock quests, but something has occurred to me. Cats like fish. And also so the minion version of my fatter cat mount you need to get level 50 fisher retainers to be able to acquire it and i want it so we're leveling fisher hello well wishing welcome to you adventurer friend you've you worked your way to fisherman's bottom when you want fish for just a day you can call a culinarian but we fishermen fish for, feast for life. Set the bait. Think you're ready to bite? Hooray, hooray! Looks like we've got a live one. Let me walk you through the life of a fisherman in Limsa Liminsa. Since we're surrounded by the seas, the fishing sites are a fisherman's delight. If you can't fish it here, you can't fish it anywhere. Some of us rope our fish in with rods and reels, others skim the seabed with nets for creepy crawly critters. You might say we cast a wide net. People prattle about our pullers just about everywhere in, Lim in Limsa. And there's much and more I haven't mentioned. We shepherd the ships, preside over the ports, manage the mongers, Alliterate the alliterations, all while making sure not to leave any adventurers out to sea. I'll wager you prefer to walk al work alone, so we'll start you off with rod and steel. You know, you may not necessarily net the numbers net you, you sh net fishing yields, but pole fishing positively pulls pretty prettier prizes. And that's the long and short of it. When you're ready for another bite of bait, I'll reel you in before the guildmaster. I'd hate to hear you had a change of heart. You haven't, have you? Spoken truly like a true bespoke fisherman. Well then, time you met the guildmaster. But, unfortunately, unfortunately, and somewhat ironically, our nefarious netmaster is out fishing at the moment. This moment and every moment, that is. So, Sisipu. Tends to tend to tasks that require tending to. Such as deciding whether you'll sink or swim with our guild. Sisipu's presiding over those pools whenever you decidedly decide to say hello. She might seem somewhat standoffish, but she's only keeping an eye out for sharks. Be yourself, and you have nothing to worry about. Yes, yes, save your breath. I heard every word between you and Nina Mulika, so I know she told you my role here. As she said, well, Walago is supposed to be Guildmaster, but apparently has bigger fish to fry, so all his work falls to me. That includes making sure our new fish aren't shellfish idiots or potential anemones. You've passed the first test by not laughing at that awful joke. 
there was a joke there. Now you only need the right answer to this question. Are you prepared to fish like you've never fished before? Sure. Well, smarter than the majority of bottom dwellers that find their way here. Welcome to the guild. Now, this wouldn't be much of a guild if we sent you out to sea with only a pole and a prayer. So I suppose I can spare you a few pearls of wisdom. Nevertheless, you're still going to need that pole and prayer, so I can at least you provide you with the former. Here you go. Oh, not a two isn't bad. Even throw in these lugworms. Since you're not like to get far without bait. Rods we bestow upon our new fish are priceless objects. Which is to say they don't cost anything. Once you know what you're doing, you'll probably want a proper one. But in the meantime... Let's see if you can figure out how to hold your pole. Ready the one I gave you, and your lessons can begin. Is that a euphemism? Uh, yeah, so before... Oh, is it not gonna let me do that? Gear sets. Oh, right. I need to. There. Let's just put. Doesn't actually matter. So you can. Just. Can I just. Equip one? Oh, am I occupied? Oh, I accidentally opened that up. There we go. Recommended gear. Add you. What are you snorting about over there? There. Oh, Sisipi asking me if I knew how to hold my pole? Rod, whatever. You're looking quite formidable. Let's hope you don't scare all the fish away. Now, the first rule of fishing is hold on to your rod. Take care of your rod, and your rod will take care of you. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you. Since you're new here, we're going to come start small. They don't come much smaller than anchovies. You'll find schools of anchovies swimming outside, around outside in Galadion Bay. So you can catch your meager supper without even walking ten yams. Anchovies are hardly the most cunning fish in the sea. Making them... An ideal first assignment. Simply bait a hook with some of those lugworms I gave you, dip in the water, and the fish will practically catch themselves. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Click the bait button. Click the bait. That can go away. Walk to the nearest body of water. When you are close enough to water, your two button will light up. Or, well, your cast button will light up. Hit cast. Five can help, but also listening can help. And 
and just wait until you hear the sound and then push hook. And don't even catch the fish you're here for. How about you? Okay, you want to like catch the one thing I'm here for instead of just leveling up on random crap? said no one ever. And by the time we have our five anchovies, we'll be level five. So it'll give us the next quest. most annoying bit about fishing in this game is the extent to which you have to like be fishing for specific things. There's like, I don't want that one. Come on, show up anchovies. That is not an anchovy. Thirteen fish caught so far, 
three of them do I actually care about? Um, I don't know why I hit that button, don't ask me questions. Come on. That is still not an anchovy. Five anchovies finally acquired. Without the fishermen guilds, the pullers wouldn't have a place to gather and discuss issues like setting a wholesale price for fish or organizing repairs for waterfront facilities. And since we started taking in foreign fisher folk, the existence of the guild is equally important. Aside from teaching these outsiders the ways of Lim Limps' waters, they all get a chance to learn new tricks from one another. Didn't mean to talk to you, but whatever. Anchovies swim off every shore of Limps' image, though, so you can bring them back from anywhere you like, so long as it's not the fishmongers. Prove it. Here, chovy chovy. Here, chovy chovy. Fair flock of feisty fish you've got, giddy guppy. Careful they don't slip out of sight. But, Lava Lago? To what do we owe the pleasure? Guildmaster's got to get after the guppies. Dividing up the daily drudgery, picking out a proper potable. Some such support and service. And who gets after the guildmaster? You have books to balance, you know. Books you should be balancing. That eh, sounds boring. I want to fish. I did my best to balance the books, but the bilge kill bent the bow back, bouncing the whole batch off the boat. It's not what... You know it was just an expression. But that's neither here nor there. As long as you keep the bit archon, our books will balance themselves. Don't let that go to your head, of course. Any beginner can snag some anchovies. But you'll need to experiment with different lures and explore new waters if you want to catch the big ones. Fundamentals are fine, but the fun is fishing for new finds. Uncle, my always, uncle always said, Fishin's like philandering. You never know what she'll catch. Those well-spoken words of wisdom, we will leave you to your wiles. I'm already level 5. It's kind of hard not to be. Blinked, and I was level 5. If it ain't Archon, you might have just taken up your rod, but anyone can see you've got the keen eye of a fisherman. 
And I reckon you're looking to see that eye keener still. Bigger fish, more exotic locales. I mean, that's what we all seek, ain't it? And it just so happens I can tell you how to find them. You see, the Fisherman's Guild has just finished constructing a vast boat equipped for voyages on the high seas. Far as I know, Captain Forzagel is still looking for a band of fishermen adventurous enough to drave drave the deepest fishing hole of them all. If you think you've the stones for it, I'm sure he'll be glad to take you on. Smell that you haven't been neglecting your duties. A commendable attitude. No one's ever gotten worse at anything by practicing. No one I know, at least. Then again, you can't expect the same old tricks to work with new fish. Big ones don't grow to be that way, chasing everything that wiggles on a hook. To catch the prize you want, you must first know what the fish wants. Only once the prize is at stake can you tantalize and tempt your prey to taste the forbidden tackle. Chovies may be willing to settle for lugworms, but harbor herring have a discerning palate that prefers pill bugs. But don't take my word for it. Go east to Hawker's Alley. In case you have a mind to return to your previous spot, you should know that fish aren't as foolish as, you, as most might think. Keep casting a line in the same waters, and you'll find that fewer folk will take the bait. At some point you're supposed to find harbor herrings, but, you know... The rogue quest. I think this just unlocks ocean fishing. not gonna work on this at the moment so we'll block it so it doesn't show up another daring soul come to join our crew eh then let me be the first to welcome you to the endeavor now, this ain't your regular fishing boat. We sail it where we please, holding only the course the wind provides to us. Aye, that's the only way we can see the unseen, know the unknown. Captain Forzagel, if I may, Endeavor is the guild's only ship of this magnitude, and if we, uh, as you say, sail only where the wind pleases to take us, we may not ever return to this port. Guild may look, may not look favorable upon such liberal use of its property. Ah, my apologies for foregoing an introduction. I am Drisk Thota, sent from the Fisherman's Guild to oversee this venture. Why am I here when the ship already is a captain, you ask? I'm gonna go with because the captain's a moron. Well, as you may already know, members of our trade, Master Wawalago and Captain Forsagel included, seem to have difficulties managing time. I suppose the concept becomes something of an afterthought when one becomes so focused on the water's surface. Regardless, I am here to ensure the ship adheres to its schedule, both by managing its finances and ensuring new crew members board smoothly.
the Endeavor shall embark upon any number of predetermined routes, each of which have this port as their final destination. Rest assured, if you fail to join one voyage, the ship will return, shall return before long. The route we travel will be determined by our departure time, and you may speak with me if you wish to know the route before boarding. Pray bear in mind that we must keep to a strict schedule. We cannot take on more crew members if we have begun boarding, and there are no exceptions to this rule, even for captains. Aye, aye, I hear ye. We board the ship is when we get to the exciting part. Fishing! Here, take these lures. They're certain to attract something worth displaying on your wall. Or at the very least, worth eating. I like free shit. Should be enough to last for one voyage at least. If you're looking for other kinds of bait, you can buy it here on the docks or on the ship. I try to switch it up every now and then, because if you only use the same bait, you're only going to keep catching the same fish. And that ain't why we do this, is it? And one last thing. Baldus thought uh, here may be in charge of the particulars on land. Once we're here on the ship, it's my word you'll heed. So when I say we're fishing here or we're sailing there, I won't hear no objections. As long as we're clear on that, I believe there will be bounteous fishing for all. And with that, the Endeavor is yours to board. If you wish to enter the ship, or if you would like a more detailed explanation of what it is we do, you only need to ask. Ocean fishing unlocked. Potential crew members may register to board the Endeavor in 15 minute intervals occurring every two hours, the Earth time. However, the Endeavor will depart early if the number of crew members reaches 24. Now let's get back to the main story. your way to Ocker's Ak Alley, friend. Hmm? A kicker on the wor work of the druthers? Uh, you speak of Tartarun. Related to that Kyokyorun bloke just over there. By some blood or another. Two of them put in together when we're making good coin, but old Tartarun up and left Limsa not long ago. Couldn't say as to why or where. Better off asking Kyokurun himself. And be ca he can be tight of lip. Though, I warn you, best to take this chicken egg with you. Little bastard loves the bloody things. Hit. 
Good to hear about old Busk, though. Sounds as though he ain't changed a bit. That is an interesting name, and I'm honestly surprised it got through the filters. To Shadow come his own self. Gods, I miss drinking with that fool. Stop making copious amounts of noise. Some of us are trying to stream and talk here. Customer, be welcome. Not customer? Not coming with custom? Yoke your room busy with business. Too busy for blather. Here, have a fresh chicken egg. Chicken egg? Yoke your own love chicken egg. Love chicken egg more than love customer. Looking for Tetarun? Tetarun no here no more. Tetarun lube limbs up. Tetarun go look for sparklies. Now, now working at Trading Post. Good Trading Post. Forget where Trading Post is. Weinberg? No Tetarun. Weinberg? No Trading Post. Weinberg. Fairy Docks. You go to Fairy Docks. Kyokyorun forget things. Weinberg remember things. You talk to Weinberg, not Kyokyorun. Halloween decorations are pretty cool. I like the hat on that one. Can I have that hat? Oh, wait, I probably have to be a black mage to get that hat. To the fairy docks. Okay, Weinberg, where's Tetarun? Tetarun? Hi, I seen him. That is to say, I saw him. He's headed somewhere up north, the way of the ferry to Elport. Might as well head there and see what you can suss out. The skipper here can take you there. When you arrive, I'd start by asking for Old Foyt. He's an old fan. Of and what knows a great deal about a great many things. Okay, take me to Elport. Barry is bound for Elport. Are you riding with us? Yes. 